Hello everyone, Pally Tom here, and welcome back to Heroes of the Storm. This is a continuation of our deep dive series where we are taking a look at every character and listing every build they have in one very easy to follow playlist here on YouTube. We've already done a Flame Strike build for Kael'thas, but there was a very opinionated group of viewers in the comments that thought if we didn't use Convection Oven, then it isn't a Flame Strike build. At the end of the day, I'm a man of the people. If you guys want to see convection, we will make it happen. This is a pure flame strike setup for Kael'thas. That does, of course, mean we're not going to be getting Man Addict. But along the course of the match, we may just increase the damage of our flame strike by up to 200. If you can't tell, I do poke a little bit of fun at the talent in today's video. <laughs> I hope you guys don't mind too much. At the end of the day, play whatever's the most fun to you thank you all for being here appreciate you let's get into the game all right ladies and gentlemen we find ourselves on the volskaya foundry today and we're going to be taking convection oven now should you take the enemy team composition into consideration before taking convection oven yes is this a team i would not take convection oven against Yes, because what happens when I take this talent, damaging an enemy hero with Flame Strike increases its damage by five. I want you to read that number. That's less than six. <laughs> oh God, I gotta poke the bear a little bit. Okay, I gotta poke the bear a little bit. Uh, up to a maximum of 100. After hitting 20 enemy heroes, we get an additional 100 damage. So I have a quest right now where if I die, I lose all progress, and my reward for completing the quest is 200 extra damage. Well, let the record show, I'm already up to three stacks of my Convection Oven so far. The Flame Strike's coming off cooldown again. I'm gonna wait until I can augment it to make it really big and hit all those motherfuckers. We're up to seven already, look at that. Chat, let's do some quick maths. That means I've added 35 damage onto my main damaging ability so far. Okay, I won't be I won't be patronizing. There's a difference between poking the bear and being patronizing. I understand that. We'll ride that line, don't you worry. Now, region globes, of course, are still important for us if we even if we are not going down the mana addict path. Because all of our abilities cost a pretty hefty amount of mana. The only way we can bypass some of that is by augmenting our W ability uh, with Living Bomb to try and destroy the wave just like that. However, I gotta be honest, my priority can't really be on clearing the wave right now. I kind of have to focus on these guys and just throwing out Flame Strikes when I can. Uh, that being said, they don't have too much of an incentive to actually move. Once again, if I die before this quest is over, I do lose all progress and have to start over. That's always been one of the downsides for Convection Oven. It kind of makes you a target. The enemy team has quite a lot of capabilities of chasing me down in this situation, so that could be scary. But we'll just have to position accordingly for that, you know what I mean? We'll just have to adjust. I am definitely still taking Netherwind in this setup. Netherwind allows me to increase the range of our E ability and a lot of our combo comes down to grabbing someone with your E. So if I can grab someone with E, I can then put a Living Bomb and a Flame Strike directly underneath them. The easier E is to use, the easier that combo is to do. Uh, let me rotate down here. Hello, hello, please stand still. Thank you, wow. <laughs> All right, we're up to eight. We're up to eight, boys. In fact, uh, let me just, never, never mind. I wasn't gonna land anything on him. Is that what you thought I was try trying to do? So far, we're at eight out of 20, 12 more to go. The friendly team is slightly ahead on XP, about uh, level and a half right now, actually, a bit more than slightly. First objective's coming up in just five seconds, and we do have the advantage of this being a small objective that enemies have to stand on. That means it's gonna be theoretically easier to land these flame strikes. Uh, I keep focusing Vala because she is the squishiest member of the enemy team and on the back line. If she's in my range, I should be trying to poke at her at least a little bit. Let's go ahead and augment our Q, make it a big area and hit that Vala who was put to sleep. 
by our tank moving in. Now we are brawling the enemy team's tank right now. <laughs> Brightwing going in for some body blocks allows me to easily land our E and put a flame strike underneath it. We're up to 11 on the convection oven so far. I'm gonna hold this until I can augment it for a bigger AOE and now we start stepping up. Enemy team moving forward, we know it and we catch stitches with the fadeaway. Good gravity lapse allows me to lock down that Rhaegar. And then we surround him. Now we're going for burn flesh. When flame strike damages two or more heroes, they take additional damage equal to 8% of their maximum health. That's very, very important versus this enemy team's frontline. Stitches and Arthas are so fucking tanky. Let's go ahead and catch Vala here with the combo. And we take her down, bringing our stacks up to 14 out of 20. Uh, real talk, I, I don't, I'm not bothered if you guys take this talent. It doesn't affect me at all. At the end of the day, it's a video game and you should play the video game however seems fun to you. But there is a big drop off historically when we look at win rates and which leagues use convection oven in and which leagues don't use convection oven. Convection always was always the most popular down in bronze and you see its win rate as well as its pick rate get lower and lower and lower the higher you climb throughout the rank echelon. Is echelon the right word chat? Fuck, you don't get to say echelon every day. Felt right. Felt right. Felt good. Felt good to just bust an echelon out like that. Viola chasing after us. We'll put some damage in her way. Looks like we're going to be venturing up to the top lane right now. I'll go ahead and turn on the mini gun for these guys that are so very grouped. I'm jumping out. Uh, conve convection, convection. And now, oh, fuck me! Yeah, I was gonna jump back in. I was gonna jump back in. I lost all my convection progress. Okay, all right, that was my fault. That, that was not the talent's fault, that was mine. I will take blame for that. But that does set us back quite a lot, doesn't it? Sets us back quite a lot from... Damn it, what am I going to do without that extra 35 damage on my flame strike right now? Fuck. <laughs> well, Stitches on the enemy team has literally no reason to fear me, and I'm planning on using that to my advantage as I walk towards him. The idea being he won't try to dodge anything I'm doing. So, put him in, hit him with the oven. We'll do that again in like four seconds. We gotta restack this thing up pretty quickly. Really debating on which ultimate I want. Rhaegar is a single target healer. So if we see, if we see the Ancestral go off, we could really, you know what? Vala, she's dead. Vala gets in range, Vala dies. The only counterplay Vala has to this, it, oh! is uh, if she gets the level 13 spell armor face talents, which she's not going a face build. So I, I don't know. I don't think she'll get that. And Vol is going to be a great target for us to just delete in team fights because keep in mind, they have a double front line that's going to be really probably keeping us at bay quite a lot. I think this is good. Our wave clear doesn't change at all. We're still just augmenting our W, putting it on the wave, and then using our Q to clear the wave. And as you can see, at this point in the game, Kelfoss is an exceptionally good split soaker. He can just make this happen like crazy, rotate down to the other lane, and get that XP like it's nothing. Once again, another great use case for a mana addict. If you are the split soaker on your team, you're going to be moving around doing this kind of shit quite a lot. So you might as well get some globes to help your survivability and allow you to continue to do it. Uh, Arthas for the enemy team is moving in on the wave. I'm gonna try to just convection him. He moved out, but I'll just keep rotating. Enemy team does still technically have a tank down there because they have two on their team. But as you can see, without Arthas on the front line, the friendly team is picking up some kills. Vala once again taken down for the enemies. All right, we'll clear that, rotate up. Uh, I should run at this guy just for my stack, he'll take the bait. And then we just CC him, drop it, and back up. And that's how I'll get my stacks. We're up to four out of 20 right now. So does that damage of the tooltip scale? No, it literally doesn't. It's five flat damage. I was thinking maybe as we leveled up that, that damage looked a little more appealing. Uh, 
at level 13, we still want to take Pyromaniac. Pyromaniac is going to make it so when we have our uh, W ability out in play, it's going to be lowering the cooldown of all of our other basic abilities. That means, of course, even more flame strikes like this one right here. We put on Rhaegar, who was CC'd by our tank. Let's go ahead and get two more living bombs out. CC stitches, drop a flame strike underneath him. Uh, that brings us up to seven stacks. Syndragosa going out there, pushing back in. At least he was thinking about it. Put sleep one more time. Stitches. <laughs> I literally just recalled and watched that happen. I was gonna, I was gonna CC him there, but he was like, "No, dude, I'm fucking out." <laughs> What kind of a fucking communication mismatch do you have to have when Sintragosa goes out and your other tank backs? Fuck, man, really reflecting on that. It hurts the, the longer I reflect on it. The more I reflect on it, the more it hurts. All right, we're gonna grab this sippy cup right here. We do see Stitches being brought towards us. We're gonna grab him in the air, put the flame strike underneath him, and then... Uh, I was an easy hook target right there. He didn't take it. Ancestral went out and didn't heal him. You know what else? This guy just fucking dodged. So we'll go ahead and send the Pyroblast at that Genji. If he can't deflect it, then that means the full damage is coming out for us. That's excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and clear the wave. Friendly team is on the objective right now. We're at eight on our convection oven. Now let's see if we can get a little more. That's nine. I will finish it by the end of this game. That's my vow. Obviously, I entered with it earlier. It wasn't my intention to end, but it was a pretty dangerous play. I just saw him so grouped up, I wanted to get free stacks and then get back in. Uh, while the objective's pushing top, oh, while the objective's pushing top, I'll move in here and make myself at home. Get that stack for me. Thank you very much. We're at 10 right now. And at least you could see a really strong uh, synergy between our increased CC range and that flame strike. Now, we are going to keep this a pure flame strike build. Sometimes I like to deviate at this point into ignite, but we'll have a video about that too. This is Fury of the Subwell. Flame strike explodes twice. Really, really good if you have someone like an ETC on your team. But it's also good for finishing our stacks, to be totally honest with you. Look at this team pushing forward. Let's just drop a flame strike right there. They'll probably forget it exists. I know a lot of people do. And we have a chance of just catching them as they walk into the area again. Enemy team does put me in the belly. Can I be saved before it's too late? No. But I will flame strike one more time before I die. Actually, it didn't go off. Once again, my quest stacks have been reset. I have no damage increase right now. Whereas if I picked the other level one talent, I would have had probably, I don't know. I don't want to guess how many globes I would have, but I would definitely be done with the quest and I could have shielded myself to survive a little bit longer there. Lots of cleanses going out as the enemy team starts to push forward. Uh, a, wait, is he blind as a bat right now? And just swing it at this enemy team. You love to see it consistently hitting as well. We're then gonna see Malganus drop into his ultimate form. Stitches has nowhere to run and gets thrown into the air yet again. The friendly team rushing past the building now. Can Arthas get away? It looks like he can. And blind as a bat. Was back off cooldown again? Wait. Wait, that's six second cooldown. How was he doing it again? I don't know anything about that talent. It's just lost swinging. I know every time I take it, everyone just fucking runs away from me and I get no value out of it. Uh, we're gonna move into the lane, try to clear it. Once again, super duper easy to do at this point, especially if we augment our W to be a wider area. Let's try to flame strike these guys here in the opening. CCing Genji inside that second explosion allows me to catch him for quite a lot of damage. Um, you know what? We see Bala really low on HP here. Ancestral did bring her back up to decent health. We're gonna CC the CC that just went out and then send in the Pyroblast on their healer to completely clear out the enemy team. Holy shit. Now, big old flame strikes underneath the wall will help us push our wave. Uh, we're at four out of 20 right now with a four level lead versus this enemy team. 
Stitch is up in the top lane right now. What happened? I didn't see. Because he was blind as a bat. He just gets the telegram update that everybody died. He doesn't know what happens. It's almost like he's having like a split personality disorder and someone takes over and then Malganus comes back and there's just a bunch of dead bodies on the ground in front of him. It's kind of fucked up. <laughs> kind of fucked up. Enemy team is respawning right now. Um, let's just put flame strikes underneath this. I just found out that if you augment a flame strike, it can hit the whole wave, or I mean the whole wall, it, the towers and wall included. That's pretty good. We will flame strike underneath Fala, catch her in. Oh, I almost caught her in the second wave. I'm gonna need some serious healing here if this enemy team continues to chase me. We are going to get flamethrower to increase flame strikes range, and this allows me to get my stacks even safer from further back. And to be totally honest with you, I think this is the point in the game where my flame strike, my convection oven quest is probably the easiest to do. We've unlocked all of the tools. I just have to sit super far back and keep hitting this Vala every time she steps forward. That's the plan. The building's going down. Oh, actually, I just missed, just missed the building there. Mid lane's pushing in like crazy too. Enemy team does have some pretty staggered deaths. And it looks like the friendly team is on the core. Um, so maybe I don't keep my promise and I don't finish Convection Oven. I guess you'll just have to imagine what my Flame Strike looks like with 200 more damage. <laughs> I keep saying I'm not going to make fun of it, but the jabs are just so easy, dude. It's just so easy. <laughs> Man, you can tell I really need that 200 more damage to clear that wave right there. <laughs> All right, team, that's gonna do it. We won the game. Did I finish convection? No. Did I show you some cool combos to catch people in the second wave of flame strike if you have some initiation CC? Yes. Was that my intent? No, that was kind of cool. Kind of a cool side effect. All joking aside, uh, you're better off with Mana Addict, in my humble opinion. But if you disagree, I am more than okay with that. As long as you're not in my game. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should clarify that last statement. I'm totally okay with that as long as you're on the enemy team. <laughs> <laughs> Tells me what for today's video Convection Netherwind Burn Flesh Pyroblast Pyromaniac Fury of the Sunwell and Flame Thrower. Damn. I didn't realize how dominant that match really was. Here is the damage for that game too. Grey Main was going in and popping off. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I did this just for you, even though I was making fun of the town along the way. I still had a pretty good time. Didn't finish the quest, came close. Like I said, sorry I ended there with the um, with that play with the with the with the big giant robot. That uh, definitely threw those stacks away. That feels bad. We have more Califas to come, so stay tuned. Check out the video description for more of our deep dive videos. And I'll see you all again soon.